in the figure, what is the value of x plus y? So statement number one tells us that x equals 70 degrees. The trouble with that is we have no idea what any of these other angles equal. And so just knowing that that's 70 degrees by itself does not give us sufficient information. So statement number one by itself insufficient. Now forget statement number one, move on to statement number two. Statement number two by itself tells us that both the triangles are isosceles. So ABC is isosceles and ADC is also isosceles. Well, that's interesting because that gives us a bunch of information about the angles here. We get a bunch of congruent angles down on the sides here, but still we don't have the actual measures of any angles here. Now we don't know the measure of a single angle in the diagram. So we're certainly not able to figure out the value of, a plus, of x plus y. So this statement by itself is also insufficient. Because we found both statements separately insufficient, we have to combine them. Statement number one, statement number two, put them together. Well, now this is interesting. We have a 70 degree angle as the vertex angle of an isosceles triangle. So it means that these big angles on the side, these have to be 55 degree angles. That's interesting. And we know that this little angle here has to equal that little angle here because ADC is also isosceles. The trouble is we still have no way to determine the actual height. ADC could be a little lower, ADC could be a little bit higher. And as we move that point D up or down, what that's going to do is change the value of y. And because we're changing the value of y, we'd have no way to determine a unique value for x plus y, even though we know x. So it turns out that even given all this information, it is still not enough to lock the figure into a particular shape. And so all the, statement, all the statements combined here, all this information still is insufficient. And the answer is E.